Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today we have a mini truck that we imported from Japan. It's a Mitsubishi and the stock number is MT6092. It is a four wheel drive. It's a four speed with high and low transfer case. It has 39,337 original miles and it's $5,600. We didn't pay as much for this one because it has surface rust. Um, I don't really know if it's just because we didn't pay as much for this vehicle or if there is damage that we are soon going to discover. So we are on this together. I have no idea what lurks on the other side if anything so let's find out we're both finding out for the first time but i did just drive this truck quite a quite a ways and it drives fantastic so this is something i bought in japan knowing that it had low miles which is verified i need to do a video on what verified mileage means because verified mileage means it's original people who buy junk i mean there's people springing up like Johnny come lately's every day thinking they're going to be in the mini truck business and they buy garbage. They should never ever be importing and they sell it to unsuspecting people and the mileage is false. It's just not correct. Um, and it's really easy to know if it's verified or not. In Japan, the auction will say, okay you want to sell that mini truck at our auction you have to bring your past i think it's three your past three um inspection receipts where the um increasing mileage is documented and it agrees with the registration so if the auction house cannot verify that they will give it the kiss of death is what i call it and it's a mark that indicates on the auctioneer's report that the mileage has not been verified. Now, that might mean that the guy just didn't bring in his proof and it is legitimate. However, you just can't take that chance. We will never, ever import anything that has unverified mileage. And um, so, uh, if you buy a truck with 116,000 kilometers, and sell it as 16,000 kilometers, you ought to know better. And because the person who gets that truck is going to have problems with it forthwith in our estimation, in our experience. So why is this 5,600? Let's find out. First thing is it has surface rust on the roof and it has a dent right there. Coming down the pillar, we have a little surface rust here also. I'm not gonna point to every piece of surface rust because it has its share. There's surface rust there, there. Well, I'll do that at the end, the front of the truck. The door is in excellent condition. Tires look really good there. Um, the side of the truck does have a dent right there. I've been doing really good about getting a shot underneath the truck. It has some surface rust under there, surface rust on the frame. It's not bad, it's not damaged. It's just like here, that's a tube, that's the frame, but it's just the outside. Inside the tube, it's good, but just some of that on the exterior of the tube. Again, I don't think that's too bad, but if you're a person who wants a very good running mini truck, but it's got some blemishes and surface rust, this is one I think worth considering. Little dented right there. I don't think I've ever sold a $5,600 mini truck. 
ever. So the bed also has surface rust, but remarkably, it is in excellent, excellent condition structurally. I will tell you that, oh, see this? All right, let me tell you something about mini trucks that you will do well to know. See that tang? Over time, that gets bent, and the remedy to tighten that joint is to loosen these and slide this latch back or bend that tang back that way so that it's tight again. This over time has been coming this way, this way, this way, and now it's looser than I think it really ought to be. But that's the solution. And boy, do I fix those all the time. <laughs> so I'll probably end up fixing this one before you own the truck. Okay, so this has peeling paint on the side and a dent right there. Mitsubishi's always have really good exhaust systems. I don't know what it is about Mitsubishi exhaust, but boy, they sure got that right. They're the best. I mean, the exhaust systems on a Mitsubishi always look good. This engine cover is solid, but it doesn't have a drop of paint on it. Don't ask me what the story is with that. I don't know. It's a nice engine cover, but it just doesn't have any paint on it. The rear of the cab has some very minor dents. You probably can't even see them, but they are there. Here's a picture of the roof coming down the side. Some paint peeling there. I think this is factory. Yeah, it is. You see, this is a factory defect. I'm just peeling that paint off. They didn't prep the truck properly, and that's why that paint is peeling. This looks really good on this door. And I pointed out a dent earlier. There it is right there. Um, let's look at the inside. Uh, there's the dashboard. Here is the door panel. Looks good. No rust. Let's look under here. There is water from where we washed the truck, but underneath it looks fantastic. Yeah. All right, the seat looks good. The front of the vehicle, the windshield is in good shape, in excellent shape. But it does have that surface rust, a little rust issue. I can't pick that up, but um, around parts of the gasket. The front of the vehicle structurally is in good shape, but it does have that pinning that I was pointing out earlier. Here is the driver's seat. It is torn. Um, you could get that recovered or just leave it alone and use the truck as it is. This is a, the interior of the door panel. I'm trying to put this back. Um, somebody stapled this on there at some point, but the only real solution, it's not torn, but there is a solution to this. It's called 3M super adhesive napa auto parts also sells their brand and you spray it on the the press board and then the back of the plastic let it sit five minutes and then slowly put it on and then that will be repaired but for now it's hanging down and looking like an eyesore um here i'm going to try to put it back again here is um well it's going to be an eyesore until somebody comes along and reconnects it. Here is the door. Very good condition. I want to show you this. Um, 
under here. Ah, very good condition. No rust issues there. So the rust that we have on this truck, now that we've gone around the whole truck, is surface rust. And we even looked underneath the truck and under the floor mats, and we don't have a rusting issue. Here is the mileage, 63,334 kilometers. And that equals 39,337, which is low miles. So that is what we specialize in. We really go through great lengths to cherry pick low mileage vehicles, but we got such a good price on this one that we now are selling it for $5,600. And I'm gonna show you how well it drives. Let's go ahead and let's take this down all the way to the river bottom. I just put it from first gear to third gear because I can get away with doing that on this truck. <laughs> They're very forgiving. I'm in fourth gear now, just clicking along. Mayberry Mini Trucks is responsible for these being street legal. We provide our purchaser with a clear North Carolina title so that you can get it tagged if you want to. And we even petitioned the North Carolina House and Senate to draft the legislation and pass a bill. And Governor Cooper signed it into law. So we're fortunate in that we got the law passed here in this state. So now we're going over 90, which is 55 miles an hour. No problem for this truck. This truck runs great. That to me means a tremendous amount. $5,600. We've got a four wheel drive with high and low transfer case. And you'll be able to go anywhere in town, not on the interstate highway. These are not good interstate vehicles. In fact, the law in North Carolina is you can go anywhere 55 miles an hour or less. Um, but if you want to get around town and get around your farm or use it at your place of work or business, this is a great truck. And it's $5,600 and there's not really anything major wrong with it. Structurally, mechanically, it's a fantastic truck. It just looks rough with that surface rust. And and some around the windshield, it did have, um, you know, around the gasket. But as far as the bed and the door panels and the, the, the bedside panels and stuff like that are concerned, the truck's really in good shape. So we're going up a steep hill in fourth gear. And we climbed all the way to 80, 85 kilometers. And that is up a pretty steep hill. I mean, that's a very good indication of a strong motor. We're still in fourth gear and we're climbing up this hill, increasing speed. And you can see that we're climbing our speed very nicely. If you're interested in this truck, let us know. Our telephone number is 336-777-9957. Our email address is sales at mayberryminitrucks.com. And our website, uh, I can't remember what I've said. Our, our website is mayberryminitrucks.com. I appreciate you watching our video. And I will also say that we have been getting a tremendous amount of phone calls from people saying they bought a mini truck from a local guy, somebody who decided they were going to get into the mini truck business, and they bought a lemon. So unsuspecting people are definitely, it, it, now is the time people are being taken advantage of. So mini trucks have gained 
a lot in popularity is what's happened. And so it's not me being the only person in North Carolina anymore. There's like little pop-ups and they don't last long, but uh, at least they haven't so far. Um, they come and they go, but they sell something that they never, ever should have imported because it ends up becoming a real problem for the consumer. And um, so we will not work on them. We can't because we'd never have time to run our own business. We have a great service department and we work on anything that we sell. But um, so buyer beware. I get calls probably every day, every business day of the week um, of people asking if I can help them. A blown engine. There's a van, uh, a Subaru van with a blown engine. Um, I, I got a call today from a guy with this. I got, I think I got like two or three calls today of, of problems. One, another one was a blown engine. Another was a head gasket. And I can't remember if there was a third one. I don't remember 